This is me. I'm coming in from Canyon Lake, and um, I have a little impromptu video, and I'm going to try and behave and, and uh, listen to the guidance that we were given yesterday. Remember, we were told that we were going to be getting some information, secretive information, and um, we were supposed to keep it classy. What, Lil? That cat's talking to me. We were supposed to keep it classy. We were supposed to uh, not react and not retaliate. Um, and yet I'm supposed to speak. So, I've been kind of wandering around just trying to assimilate everything and, and I'm going to bring up a few different things. I posted a, a post this morning. Um, it's quite lengthy and it's, it's really good. You need to go look at it. Uh, I probably should have done a video, but there was just so much I had to say and it was just pouring out. So I had to let my higher self take over. Um, it's about assumptions. It's about protecting yourself energetically, psychically. Um, it's about misunderstandings, it's about people who meddle. And we've been shown that there were secrets, right? And that this was all going to come to the surface. We uh, remember we had the snake that was in uh, my landlord's backyard, um, a caged in snake, and it was trying to get out. There was a cat there, and it didn't want to get, uh, didn't want the cat to grab it. I was trying to help it get out, but it was moving away from me. Um, so many different messages with the words with the snake there's positive messages as well as negative positive is um healing transformation um as they you know as they shed their skin a new a new way is revealed so this is going to be a positive hopefully somebody can learn a lesson from this message um because there is a negative connotation to the snake as well clearly who's a snake in your backyard Somebody from your past, is it, is it a wounded ego that's causing you to behave in, in disrespectful ways or um, self-sabotaging ways? Or is there actually somebody in your hood, somebody, a friend of yours that's literally in your backyard who is um, meddling, misleading, causing information to be um, skewed just slightly, just enough, taking the truth and just skewing it just a little bit, you know, in order to um, make it work to their advantage? What's a scrub? Scrub is someone who is riding along in his best friend's car, leaning out, hitting on his girlfriend, right? Um, scrub is somebody who is, uh, his girlfriend's out of town and he's out of town working and your boyfriend's out of town and so he's gonna hit on you. That's a scrub. I don't want no scrubs. Um, the bird yesterday, the swallow, that was, you know, we, we spoke about the storm that was coming and how the swallow was going to be able to make sure the house wasn't burned down and avoid this storm. Um, <clears throat> the swallow was my totem, and uh, there's a storm brewing. You need to actually see it across the lake, and I've been hearing all night last night, and all the people have storms, trees knocked down, all kinds of stuff. So it's funny how the world energetically um, exhibits what is, is, I mean, physically exhibits what's happening energetically. So in order to avoid problems with the storm, such as your telephone wires going down, your communication going down, Make sure you know who the snake in your backyard is. Is it a wounded part of you or is there somebody that you need to pay attention to that you're not able to trust? I see some man working with another person and they have the, um, the job of being online and their job is to actually to protect um, online predators and yet they have, they're bored and they start messing around and they start looking in. There's a lot that can come on the internet. You know, people open up a lot. I have. I've been way too open. Um, but I've done it on purpose. <laughs> I posted, you know, um, sometimes you got to put some BS out there to see who, you, who they go running back to tell, right? And now the people that they will go running back to tell, um, for me, they, um, they should know who I am. But it causes problems, so that's me, um, that's, that's not getting caught up in the drama, so I'm not going to do that anymore. But I did do it, just because I had to check something. and. Um, uh, I saw the person who they went running to tell realized, you know, said to them, don't be messing in stuff that you, you weren't qualified to mess in. I am qualified. I do have prophetic dreams. I do have visions. My, my dreams are very lucid. I get um, messages through spirit that are very, very accurate. Um, I do not go to the dark. I don't meddle in another person's free will. That is working with black. That's black magic. That's what you consider black watch magic. That's why I'm not a witch. That's why there are people who do that. I don't want to be even defined or identified with somebody like that because it is not in the highest order of love and light to mess with somebody else's free will. You don't do that, period. You, uh, even, even if your intention is good, 
um, you know, well, we're just trying to help you out. Don't. Don't help somebody out by being deceitful. Help somebody out by being honest and speaking the truth because there's information that can hurt a lot of people and it is hurting a lot of people and it's not okay. Um, and, and for people who are, you know, on, online, a lot, online can be very, very damaging. It can be very, very helpful. I, I help a lot of people. I reach a lot of people. So do my friends, my spiritual community. There's a lot of very um, um, appropriately um, used sites. There are a lot of people that have very, very good intentions, and their work is in order to spread the light and, and bring people together in unity and help people understand what we're going through as we ascend. Um, but there are ones that use it, and it's, it's, a, it's a terrible thing, gossip and, and assumptions. And clearly, people that do this are very insecure people. They wouldn't have to do this. If, you know, if somebody is, is um, using the Internet and making up a fake profile in order to, to babysit their girlfriend or boyfriend, clearly they're somebody that can't be trusted themselves. Because why would you even, that wouldn't even cross my mind to do that. I wouldn't spy on somebody. It's, it, I, it's, I wouldn't want that done to me. I told you I had a drone spying on me. I don't like it. I don't like being spied on. You want to talk to me? Talk to me. You want to ask me a question? Ask me a question. Clearly, you can't be trusted. Clearly, you're insecure. And if somebody is hitting on you on the internet and flirting around, just watch them. Even in the same feed that they speak to you, if you don't, if you don't take the hit, go down a couple lines and you'll see them saying the same thing to somebody else. Don't call me beautiful and, and that you want to be where I am. Um, and then five minutes later, turn around and say it to someone else. I'm not interested. Thanks. I'm not interested anyway. But I'm, but I'm wise to the game. I don't like players. I never have. I never will. Um, so young women and young, young guys even, you know, and, and just very um, unaware people or innocent, you know, like me, trusting individuals. There's some really shitty people out there. There's some people out there that can't be trusted. There are some people out there who want to disturb your peace. Don't allow that to happen. Don't believe everything you see. Don't believe everything you hear. Um, and if somebody doesn't want to meet you in person or see you in person or talk to you in person, they're not worth talking to, seeing, or meeting, okay? Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I need to say. I, I think it's funny. Look at Lily. No. And Liger. So Liger's locked up. Lily's out here totally chill. She's me. This is my personality. She's like, yep, I'm good. I'm all good. This is the other one who wants out. You can come out, babe. Come out. <clears throat> oh, I'm just thinking about, you know, when somebody else is not there to... Um, to watch their own their own life. Um, what is the saying? Um, I want somebody who's trustworthy when I'm not behind my back. I want someone who's loyal when I'm not there. I want somebody who's loyal when I'm not looking. I don't want to have to look. I'm not gonna have to look. And if I have to watch somebody, there's a beautiful dove. If I have to watch somebody and spy on somebody, I don't trust them. And if I don't trust them, there's something wrong with your relationship or there's something wrong with you. And you need to do some deep soul searching. You need to dive down deep and figure out what your problems are. Because don't project them onto someone else. Don't project them onto your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Don't project them onto somebody else because you've got the hang up. You want to know something? Be straightforward. You want to say something? Be straightforward. Don't be manipulating. Don't be lying. Don't be hiding. Don't be deceiving. And don't be sliding off half-assed information to people that you don't even know what you're talking about. Because even with myself, as I spoke in my article this morning, <clears throat> I do have prophetic dreams. I do see things very, very lucidly. But, but I, have been, I have seen things in a different manner than I actually thought had been taking place. And my twin has as well. We both are able to remote view and, and, and see things very accurately. But there are some things that don't play out exactly as you think they are playing out. I watched that last night in my own dream when I watched my twin watching me and he played back the day and it was very, very accurate. But some of the things that he saw were close, but they weren't what he thought. And so there's misunderstandings that, that can be avoided. Don't jump to conclusions. And this has to do with, you know, that's just our gift. But just say you're just a person who somebody else tells you something or saw somebody else saw something. Remember we were talking about there's somebody that's in need of a true friend and there's gossip and intrigue around someone that you care about. So it, it's, it's about that. Somebody saw something and then they repeated it or they heard something or they, and by the time it goes down the line, the story is so in, incredibly insane. It's nowhere near the truth. And the sad part is, is that generally what they started with in the beginning wasn't even accurate. So 
gossip and drama, stay away from it and keep it far from me. I Don't disrupt my peace. And you can get count that I won't be disrupting yours. I'm not going to be um, meddling and gossiping and, and handing off information. Oh, I'm so laughing right now. I'm so laughing right now. <clears throat> and the person who um, I gave the, the line to, they're going to be saying, yeah, you did. You told me this. Well, I'm now telling you why. And now we both know who you are, don't we? <clears throat> okay. That's it. That's my story. I was trying to keep it classy, but it had to be said. So peace, love, and light. The white light. The light of spirit. The light where I want to be. The light where I want to go. Right? That's where I want to go. The highest order of divine love and light. Peace with that.